Before we get into the video, I want to let you know that I'm going on a road trip leaving March 9th and I'll actually be gone for just over a month. Luckily, the videos at the moment are still behind due to all the clips I piled up while playing Twisted League, but in order to keep posting videos, I'll probably spread them out a bit further apart, up to maybe like four or five days apart instead of three, because I don't want to have a couple weeks of no videos just in case. I just got a laptop, so I'll still be able to play and progress while I'm gone, but I don't think I'll be able to trust the internet at the Airbnb to do any PVM. So I'll just be doing a lot of AFK skilling, and therefore won't have much new content to make. But with that being said, I'll be posting a lot more frequently on the IRL channel, which is linked in every video description by the way. Uh, and there's a video that went up at the same time this one went up on the IRL channel, uh, talking more about the road trip and what's going on with that. So if you're interested in traveling, skateboarding, hiking, stuff like that, and just want to see what I get up to in real life, then check out that channel. And let me know over there on that video if there's any uh, places you think I should check out along my road trip. But yeah, let's get into the video. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of The Ultimate Iron Man. And last video, we just finished up about 60 hours of Zora to get 500 KC. Yes, that is correct. I average about 8 Zora kills per hour. So far, we've gotten two uniques from Zora. We got the Uncut Onyx at 237 KC, which I guess maybe doesn't count as a unique because you can get it in other places. But we got the Serp Visage also at 383 KC, which I am just ecstatic about because that's probably the best drop you could get first on a UIM or maybe even just an Iron Man in general. Because now we don't have to spend runes on the cure me spell and waste inventory space on those runes as well. So today we are going to continue on our path to becoming a dentist because I would like to extract both fangs from Zora, the Tans fang for the blowpipe and the magic fang for the upgrade to the trident. I want to say that we'll just keep going until we get both of those but theoretically we could go thousands of kills dry like I did on my hardcore um, for one or both of them. So we'll just see how things go. Uh, with the Onyx, uh, next time I suicide, I'll most likely just end up dropping that over to the main because I don't really need a regen brace for anything and I don't want any more Zenites at the moment. And you can always get another Onyx by just buying cast runes and getting Taco with that, but you cannot always get more backspace. So that's my reasoning for dropping the Onyx over to the main when I do get around to doing that. And just a really, really weird flex that literally no one asked about. Uh, our current UIM Zora ranking is 143, and I guess that will keep on going up. So maybe top 100 could be like a good goal to work towards as well. Yeah, so I guess we have to get a few hundred more kills for that, but yeah, top 100 for Zora would definitely be very doable for this video. If anyone uh, ever watched UIM Link, or my bad, uh, Iron Man Link, XUIM Link, <laughs> back in the day, he did some uh, Zora update progress videos on his UIM, so I feel like I'm kind of sort of following in his footsteps for that. So that's essentially what this video is going to be. It's going to be a Zora UIM progress update, because I expect it'll be mostly Zora this video. If slash when we do get the blowpipe, maybe we'll go to Vorkath to get the assembler, but I will for sure at least get the accumulator as an extra switch for when we do get the blowpipe because the bolt racks are always lost when you use them. Uh, the accumulator or the assembler has no effect on those. But of course, you know, for the blowpipe, it'll be very important to save as many darts as possible. So I think I've said everything that I want to say. Here's a very quick little sneak peek of what the loot is looking like so far if you missed it from the last video. But if you missed the last video, you got to go watch it because I said so. So... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna get back to Zora and I'll see you whenever cool stuff happens. We've been here for like a week now doing Zora to get to the 500 KC and we're gonna continue on for probably quite a lot more time. I need to build the uh, Mind Alter teleport in the POH actually one of these days. Okay, goodbye. Ooh, an elite clue. That's the first one we've gotten in freaking 350 kills or something. It's one out of uh, 75. Oh, we got the elite casket. This is taking about 45 minutes to get this. So let's drop these items. And we'll just open it straight here in the desert. Hmm. We uh, do have that page already. As of recording this clip right now, today they added an update where you can recolor the Phoenix, where if you have 250 of the same fire lighter, you can uh, recolor it. Um, but I mean, I'm not going to bother saving those for a long time. If we ever do another big clue opening, then I'll save fire lighters for that. Like as we're opening all those clues, if we do like 100 plus or something, we do have the Phoenix if you didn't know that. One other update from today, which actually happened as well when they did something with Bounty Hunter a few months back. You can now buy the looting bag for 30k in the Slayer Shop, just for now. It's just a temporary thing until they re-release Bounty Hunter, I think. Um, and then rune pouches as well, but I believe Iron Man can't buy the rune pouch. We tried to buy it. Um, we do have one already, but if you try to buy it, it should say that Iron Man cannot buy that item. But... We can buy a looting bag, although we do already have one. So if slash when we inevitably die to Zora again, or you know, I just want to resort my items, um, that will make it a little bit easier. Okay, and here is level 
92 cooking coming in here at the sacred eels this is uh still what i do in my downtime when i have to eat slash edit i just come over here and i don't need much inventory space for this it's very chill so you know i just been killing zora and a few kills ago i got this drop of five rune javelins and I didn't think too much of it, like I know it's on the rare drop table, and I'm usually not one to show rare drop table drops, like oh my god look at this, it could have been 17 blowpipes and 14 magic things. Um, but I just thought this was interesting, I went over to the wiki to look at the drop rates of uh, all these items on here, and it turns out the 5 rune javelin drops is all the way down here at the bottom of the rare drop table, that is the most rare item you can get out of any individual item from Zora, with the next least common thing being a uh, Mew gen here, but... Yeah, I just thought that was kind of interesting that that was a pretty rare drop that we got so early on. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go to bed. Ooh, Dragon Spear, nice. There's a stash unit actually on Troll Waste Mountain, the one where you need uh, a sled to get to that elite stash. And we need a uh, Rune Plate Skirt, which we can buy, and then Blue Dehyde Van Braces, which we can make. So we're gonna go get all that stuff and then make that stash unit. To get to this elite clue, we have to make a sled, and our inventory is looking very, very cramped right now, but I was able to make everything just barely fit in here perfectly so we can make the sled and then we should be good to be able to make it. Every time in the future I want to do this elite clue step, I'll have to make the sled all over again, which uh, would probably take a couple minutes every time to do, or probably more than a couple minutes. Just getting stash units built on a UIM just feels really nice. So we can just go ahead and build this while on the sled apparently and store these three into the stash. And we are back to Zora now and we're going to get rid of the sled. I feel like this item is really old and glitchy. It's just like clipping through the Aram's rope skirt. It's such a weird, like, buggy item. <laughs> Anyways, there is one other dragon spare stash unit, which is in the West Arty Church, and we do have that one built already. I kind of missed it, but there is a 600 KC at the Prophet Snake. Okay, we've talked to Oziok. Our luck should start turning around now, finally. Well, there's a 700 Zora KC. We're now 317 kills dry without a drop. PV, please? Oh yes, we beat the PV! 142, up from 145. Oh, that was so lucky. Ooh, elite. Okay, we actually got another elite clue done. This one took about 45 minutes, so let's open it up. Ooh, hey, master clue and a, a storable thing for the POH. Look at that, that's cool. You can also talk to Patchy on Mostly Harmless with an eye patch and get this combined into a pirate hat and patch. Um, but I don't think you could store it in the POH then, but we can store this in the POH by itself the way it is now. And in she goes! Well, we have to kill a shaman, so I'm just gonna go through and get the shades in tier 1 through 5 armor, and then we'll just be set. We can store unlimited amounts of armors in this case, like different types of armor, so may as well fill it up now, because once we do get a blowpipe, we will be killing a lot of shamans, so let's go do this. Shouldn't take too long. You have to use melee to kill these guys, so I'm just quickly buying an adamant sword right here to use. I know it's uh, not ideal, but it's right here and it gets the job done. I'm only gonna be putting one set in the house at a time, so I have to like teleport home after every five kills, because each time you kill one of these guys you get one piece of the armor and there's five pieces so you have to kill each of these guys five times so 25 kills in total and we'll work our way up towards tier 5 and get all five of those pieces and 20 minutes later the shazian tier 5 set is complete uh the shazian gloves actually is a decent choice for gloves before you have a combat brace because they give a plus three strength bonus as you can see right here it goes from 24 to 27 and it's not too hard to get this either for low levels especially if you have protection prayers but yeah let's continue on with the shaman and even if we don't get the clue done at least we'll be set for the future for uh when we do go to shamans but i believe there's also a diary task to kill a shaman right yeah there we go so we got the uh skill challenge for the clue as well as the diary task. <laughs> well, that's a great way to break the streak. Uh, last drop was at 383, so we are 403 kills dry. May not be the most useful item, but it's better than Onyx. All right, no other uses for the Serp Visage, so that is turning into 20,000 more scales. There we go. 200k stack now, holy crap, dude. Well, that's like the first time seeing a drop in like five or six days, so hopefully we could uh, get back on the drop rate for items at least. <laughs> well, there's uh, 20,000 more scales. At least we're uh, <laughs> getting back to the drop rate now. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that's so funny. That's 10 mil GP worth of scales. Not that it matters, but between those last two drops, um, that has pushed up the scale stack quite a bit. Huh. <laughs> nice. 
Let's get an Onyx now, probably. I'm surprised we've only gotten one Onyx. And my Onyx! Ooh, Elite Clue. Hey, we got the Elite Casket, actually. Let's see what we get. Dragon Scimitar Ornament Kit. Unfortunately, not too useful for the account. It's worth uh, about a mil. I guess people who PK maybe use that for risking or something, but I probably should buy one and then sell it back for the video, but I, I can't be bothered. I, I really don't want to waste the money. I'm saving for construction, okay? We're going to drop that over to the main for one mil. And of course, it is also now in the collection log. Totally forgot to record it, but uh, there is 800 uh, KC, which, yeah, we're beyond that now, but 800 KC milestone. Oh wait, actually, wait, let's log off. Let me uh, refresh the high scores. We are now top 100 UIM for Zora KC with our uh, 801 KC now. That's a cool milestone, I think. So as you can see, we are just over 800 kills into Zora and we're almost out of charges on the recoil. We've gone through about 16K charges in just over 800 kills. So my prediction was right. It was about 20 charges or just under 20 charges per kill. So maybe like 18 or 19 charges if you want to be exact. But it is that time again where we need to start making more charges because I have a feeling we might be here for a long time still. <laughs> I don't mind it though. Um, I forgot if I mentioned earlier in the video because I've been here for like quite a few days now in this video. But Zora is probably the best boss to go dry at. Like I'm so glad I didn't go dry God Wars um, because all the loot that you get from Zora is just too good to pass up. So either way we would have been here for a long time anyways. I showed one of the UIM methods for making recoils a couple of videos ago in episode 96. Um, there was another method that I didn't show which involves going to the Zara area which I'm not going to be doing because I'd rather not have to like get tackle and then miss out on like an extra recoil per inventory. But if you do want to see the method because you forgot or you missed it, it was in episode 96. As a very quick summary of it though, uh, doing it at max efficiency is 240 recoils per hour which is about 480 Zora I guess bagged or charges, whatever, 480 Zora kills worth that you can charge up per hour. But realistically, due to shops being sold out and me not playing as efficiently, it'll probably be a lot less than that. I think I could probably charge up like the equivalent of maybe two to 300 Zora kills per hour while doing this. So um, I'm going to go suicide to Hispori and I'll see you back probably when we're getting our stuff back because I do want to drop the Onyx over to the main. I don't have any uses for it. I can always get an Onyx back at any time by buying Chaos Runes and then getting Tackle with that. And I value the extra backspace a lot more than I value an Onyx at this point in the account because I don't have a use for it right now. So I will be dropping it and I've been thinking about this since we've had it in the inventory for like a week and a half now or something. I've had plenty of time to think over that and I will not regret dropping it. We'll keep the same cash stack with us as well. I did the calculations uh, in that other video and it came out to almost 1k GP per recoil, like between 750 to 1k based on the stocks. So we're gonna say about 1k GP per recoil in total. That's like including the cost of the Cosmic Rune and the Sapphire and Gold Ore and stuff. I was able to hop through every world and by the time I reached my first world, Every single world was at zero, no matter what. But in the meantime, while that one restocks, I can use the other shops that only have a stock of two, such as the one there in Artie, or the one in Prifnos, or the one at Karen Castle. The Keligrim gem shop has a stock of three, whereas the three I just mentioned have a stock of two. So it's pretty much just as good, almost, but it's not really far out of the way. I have all the teleports in the POH. Well, as you can see, we have 55k charges in the recoil. That took about seven hours to do. Um, and I did the math, that means on average we were able to make about 200 recoils per hour, which I think is pretty good considering like shops being sold out and not playing efficiently and whatnot. And as you can see, we're back to fishing for now. Uh, I need to edit videos and stuff tonight and tomorrow, and then we'll be back to Zora. We are uh, going to be continuing off from 837kc, and the goal for this video will be to get to 1000 Zora KC. So we'll claim all of our items and continue on with Zora tomorrow. And because Bounty Hunter is currently being reworked as of the time of recording this, that means the looting bag is available for purchase in the Slayer shop. Not the Slayer Points shop, but the Slayer Trading shop here for 30k, as you can see right there. Very uh, convenient update for <laughs> UIM at the moment, but it will not stay forever unless Bounty Hunter never comes out, which I guess knowing Jagex is a possibility. Although, I guess by the time we're seeing this, if Bounty Hunter is out, then that's awkward. Alright, well, looting bag is now sorted. And the onyx has been dropped over to the main. I managed to fish about 5,000 scales as well last night, which uh, I think it's like just over 1,000 scales per hour with how I play. So that's a decent amount. Awesome. So we got a few clues from fishing. Let's start opening them up. We got a beginner. And we got two easy caskets. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
Hold on. Okay, we do have that page already. Uh, and then we have an elite casket. Ooh, okay. Uh, we have that book done as well. Let's see the master. All right, well, it was fun while it lasted. Let's uh, go back to Zora. All right, well, I'm pretty sure we have just gone all the way from the start of level 90, now all the way to level 91 farming, all through Zora, planting the seeds as we get them. So we can now plant two spirit trees without having to get the pie every time to boost. So that'll be nice whenever we get the spirit seeds from Zora, we just plant it right away. It's crazy how much supplies you get for skilling from Zora. Talk about alkabols, dude. We got the freaking dragon set right here. Imagine hitting. There we go, 87 range, that is the second range level we have gained here at Zora. Well, there's a uh, 900 Zora KC now. Let's uh, finish the last 100 strong with probably an Onyx or nothing. Whoa, holy crap, that is beautiful. Well, looks like we've got a cooking level coming in here at the Sacred Eels. There is level 93 cooking. This is uh, turning out to be a very passive skill, apparently, for UIM. <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh, whoa, sorry. I got excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, yes! Oh, we got before a thousand. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Holy crap. Okay, here we go. Let's make the uh, toxic trident. Oh, oh you know, okay, hold on. That's so perfect, dude. That was the exact order I wanted to get the items as well. I'm pretty sure that getting the toxic trident over the regular trident is more of a DPS increase over getting the blowpipe over the Kirill's crossbow. Plus with the blowpipe, I'll have to worry about maintaining darts as well. So very, very glad that we got this. I think we have to uncharge it first. Uh, okay, yeah, it's 10 GP for each cast. So we don't really lose too much. So uncharge it and then put the thing on there. <laughs> <laughs> the toxic trident and when you charge the regular trident versus the toxic one each one requires one death rune one cast rune five fire runes but then the regular one requires 10 gp and the toxic one requires one zora scale instead of the 10 gp so it's pretty much the same thing except we don't have to spend gp and we have plenty of zora scales that we will not have to worry about uh, so there we go it's charged up and that's our first time equipping it oh dude that's so 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 good Hopefully we can uh, beat a PB with that. I mean, if anything, we'll be getting faster kills in general overall on average. So that's so freaking nice, dude. I guess uh, we'll just be continuing on until we get the blowpipe or I guess the Tans Fang. Yeah, we are going to finish off the last 19 kills for this video just to get to 1k KC. So uh, yeah, dude, oh, I was just fishing all night and then I go to get one kill. And then this first kill after fishing all night long right before bed is the freaking the magic thing. So. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Um, yeah, let's go back to Zora, though. Yo, look at that. 34. Oh, wait, 35? Oh, my God. That's like the joke from SpongeBob. You know, it's funnier than 24. 25. But it's with 34 and 35. Anyways. Hey, I just woke up, and the uh, new Nightmare Boss just came out. Although, I know by the time you're seeing this video, it'll be quite a long ways out from today. Um... But remember before how I was talking about how Zora Drop Table is like pretty OP and probably should have never been in the game? Well, the Nightmare just came out and its Drop Table is God War style, just like I've been talking about for the last few videos, how like more bosses should have Drop Tables like that. So I know uh, not everyone's happy with that, but I'm happy with it. So I'm going to say good job, Jagex. And there we have it. There's 1000 KC at Zora. <laughs> nice. All right, let's go. Um... I guess we'll go back to the POH and we'll look at the collection log and we'll go through some uh, final statistics of these 1,000 Zora kills. So I guess as we're running back, I will show you the loot tracker and for some reason it's only logged 999 of them. So I guess one kill, maybe I teleport out or maybe there's some weird glitch interface stall or something. Um, but yeah, 141 mil GP worth. So I guess that means 141k GP per kill on average. Uh, we did go a little bit unlucky for the uniques. We got three surfaces, one magic fang, and one onyx. So that is five uniques in 1000 KC, which is one out of 200 is our drop rate. And should be one out of 128, but RNG will always balance out in the end. And uh, I guess we'll take a look at the collection log too. Let's grab that out of here. Here we go, here we go. Down to Zora. Yep. Yep. On my uh, hardcore, by the way, for those of you that don't know, I got my first magic fang at 1840 KC and my first hand swing at 2275 KC. And yes, I do specifically remember those numbers very, very well. I had a great time there. Me and Zora go way back. But yeah, I feel very, very lucky to have gotten that magic thing so early. I know like 
it doesn't seem early, but that's I'm I'm very very happy with that. I was fully expecting to go at least two K dry before we got anything. So yeah, it's very very glad to have that before one K even. I'm starting to look at the XP we gained over these last one thousand kills, and so far we gained a million farming XP just planting the calquats and the palm tree seeds as we get them. Oh, and the magic seeds too. And we do still have, uh, let's see, 130 papaya seeds that we'll be able to use after we're done with Zora. We gained 1.4 million cooking XP just from cooking the sharks as we get them. Not to mention all the grapes that we have in here that we'll be using up after we're done with Zora. Um, I mean, so far, that alone is 2.6 million cooking XP. So uh, we will eventually get 99 cooking on this account, whether it's through grapes from Zora or just passively cooking sharks through PVM, as well as fishing sacred eels. 1.3 mil magic XP, almost 500k ranged XP, and so far, just from using up the bones as we get them on the altar right over here, almost 170k prayer XP. Oh yeah, and of course, from all the sacred eels, we've gained about 750k fishing XP, um, so we've gotten quite a bit of post-99 fishing so far. If you're curious about the price of the scales that we have in the inventory, it is currently worth about 70 million <laughs> GP. Oh my god. Just in this video alone, we got 500kc at Zora in the last 9 days, so uh, I guess it's like just over 50 kills per day that I've averaged. Overall, I get about 8 kills per hour, maybe closer to like maybe 8 to 10. Um, I only do 1 kill trips though, first off to save prayer, and then second off because uh, I don't always have enough food and I don't think it's worth the inventory slot. But I guess saving prayer is a nice thing and it makes it slightly more chill too, um, so I'm not so stressed. And getting stressed is a great way to burn out from RuneScape. So that means in this video we spent spent about 60 hours at Zora, and that's not including all the time that I've spent fishing as well, because as you saw, we got quite a bit of post-99 fishing XP. Fishing Sacred Eels, I think it's like 1200 scales per hour maybe, like with how AFK I do it, maybe like 20k fishing XP per hour. I got an easy clue while fishing, and then from that easy clue, we got a master clue. And ironically, the first step of the master clue was to mix an anti venom potion. So I'm just waiting till we get the next drop of the antidote plus pluses from Zora. And then we'll try to do the master clue, but definitely do not get your hopes up for a master. There's like a 99% chance that I will end up dropping it, but I just thought I should probably point that out. Oh, one last thing before we wrap up the video. Let's log off and refresh the high scores and see what our rank is now. We start off this video as rank 143 for UIM Zora KC, and we're now rank. 89 and uh, I guess that will keep going up until we get the tans thing I don't want to say that because I don't want to just stay here for another like one or two thousand kills But I, I guess that could happen, you know, it's just how RNG goes So um, I don't know what we'll be doing in the next video if we'll stay at Zora the whole time or if I'm gonna want to move No, I really want to get the blowpipe because I want to like do shamans and stuff I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens Anyways, I'm sorry if you don't like Zora content because I know the last like two videos pretty much as well as this video have all been Zora content and next video will probably be majority Zora content too. But you know, the goal of my videos is to entertain, so as long as you're enjoying, that's what's most important to me. This series is a video log of my progress on my Ultimate Iron Man and what I've been getting up to, and this is what I've been getting up to. This has been my life for the last like two to three weeks now, just doing Zora, and theoretically, it could be my life for the next two to three more weeks or even longer. We'll just have to see how it goes. But we're gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again next time with more Zora. That was kind of dramatic for no reason.